So we are currently in a little town called Bothwell. Getting to experience so many beautiful spaces that I um, will show you guys. And yeah, it's like a mix of a, a baby moon slash holiday slash winter escape, I guess. And you just feel really to the camera. But along the way we've been also been antiquing which has been really fun and we've been picking up some pieces. Uh, we, we oh. did stop in Australia as well in Canberra and we got a bunch of things. Tasmania is part of Australia. Oh yeah, very <laughs> ABC baby. Always. Hey what lens is that? Always be clicking. Are you shooting yeah, on that lens? Yeah, yeah. Just because um what happens is in direct sunlight, <laughs> um, when you're shooting into direct sunlight and away oh, from it... Oh, that diffuses? Your shadow gets in the way. Does it really? So, I am using this bad boy to get the same framing, but without being in the shadow. Well, so when I'm shooting... Like bouncing back onto like a wall in your... Yeah, your exactly. I'm just trying to shoot the light coming into a space. Okay. And what's happening is I keep getting in the shadow because oh, okay. I'm backlit yeah. from the sun. So. I'm going Tricky. to use this to stay back. This is a 1 to 400, so good little, good little boy. Oh, really is so mathematical. I will show you guys this face, and it's basically, I would say for any artist, it's the ideal place to come if you're wanting to create something because it's just otherworldly. It's all kind of set in the 1800s era, which is actually something I'm really inspired by in Tasmania so far we've seen so many places and they retain history. So this is on the 100, it helps um, to get rid of the distortion. If you can shoot far enough back, you can get really awesome straight lines. Like you can see, like, these are really great for details. Wow. And you would never know the difference. This is how unusual the bathroom is. So pretty. We're about to take a, a little photograph in the bathtub. We recently found this antiquing and it's partly broken but it was so beautiful that we had to get it and there's still the old candle in it can't really see but it's solid brass it's so pretty and i'm wearing the feel gown and charcoal because these days my stomach has been growing <laughs> i've been hiding it quite a lot because i've just been wearing really baggy clothes but i can show you it is, I'm 27 weeks tomorrow, so it's actually pretty big. Like, from my rib cage downwards, it's like really sticking out now. I haven't felt him kick for a few hours, but I normally feel him kick like all throughout the day. It's so special. So I just wake up and wait basically to feel him. I can't really get the gist of how massive it feels by what it looks like but he's definitely he's gonna be a big baby maybe also all we've done is stayed inside all day today and i'm so puffed out <laughs> i'm so puffed out from taking photos it's so funny how your energy just goes like that what were you just saying again so special he's special Like I love you. I can see it in your eyes that you 
she's getting away. She's getting swept away. <laughs> so we just arrived at a place called the Cape and it is insane. There is so much wind. Like, I feel like we're in the series of unfortunate events. What's that? Okay. Christian's getting into the mood because he's starting to shoot. But basically, we're looking out of every window. Like this, and that way. The back. But it's so windy right now when you start running the bath. The water flies like over the edge, so we have to wait. This is stunning. Doing a little bit of work. As you can see, I have a. Oh, what is this? I have a Tasmania hard drive. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys some footage from the captain's rest, but I didn't take that much, so I'm pretty bummed about it. But I was gonna show you some photos anyway, because the space is really, really beautiful. I had the best cookies of my life there. I, I'm trying to find them everywhere I go, I should have asked, but they were so good, like half-baked. I was really hungry as well when we arrived, so that might have played into it, but they were so good. Um, I'm going to show you guys some photos of that and then show you around this space too, which is really beautiful. We're going to make, we're going to make pizza tonight. So I'm going to document some of that and we'll do some fun little cooking session. Christian, I need you to say that to me again. Sometimes in order to do lifestyle, you have to style your life. <laughs> Words of profound wisdom. It's weird that that resonated with me so much. I know, but like 10 seconds like after the fact, <laughs> like I said it and you were like, oh my gosh, it's so true. Do you want to knead the dough? I would love to knead right. the dough. So what you do is you knead it. Okay, do we need flour? No. It's already here. Just go like this. Okay. Putting some babble on our way. You're really good at this, Elsie. Thanks. Uh oh. My one mistake. What did you do? Oh no. <laughs> Christian's out in the boat, putting some drone photos. And that's the captain's rest. Just there. On board. I have arrived back home now, you guys. I have been addicted to shaved ice for a while now, but especially during pregnancy, I've just been craving it, which is so funny because we were in, like we were in the winter and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I ended up getting a, a snow cone machine <laughs> and it was here on arrival. Oh, my mom's calling. I'll call her back soon. But I just wanted to fill you guys in because I have some shots that I didn't record audio to. So putting together video, I'm just like, oh, I should probably explain what we were doing. But basically the last couple of weeks in Tasmania, we had a few shoots on. Um, one was for Blue Dish Off again, which was really fun. I've made a video about that before and I've posted it so you can see it on 
my channel to but we did their fall winter lookbook which I think the last one we I posted was their fall winter as well but in between then we did a spring summer but yeah so we're doing fall winter again and we uh, met a couple models out there and then we hired um, some help as well Graham who's a really talented photographer based in Stanley which was the location we were shooting in anyways really in like to whip up a morning brew. did you make one this morning at your yeah. house? <laughs> so easy yeah so good that was it you too much coffee there's too much coffee yeah all right easy mate oh no oh. <laughs> as soon as i hear that noise i'm like ah <laughs> it's not me Starving. Ali, this is for you this chocolate cappuccino should be chocolate good right? whack her in there mate beauty look at that tell me that's not gorgeous let me get that focus Oh yeah. I can, can I shoot at 800 ISO? Is that um, true? As long as the bag's sharp, I would do whatever you need to do. We're starting to film. I'm just gonna have to get some pieces. So funny when you like meet new people and figure out like their angles and like, yeah. you know, what, what side of your face do you like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to just let it drop. Mm -hmm. We happy boys with our results? Yeah, looking good. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's really cool. It'll be easy to like kind of, you know, blur some things out. But it came out really good. <laughs> Second location. did was we hired a sailboat for a whole day basically and we photographed just for fun this was something that Christian just really wanted to do and we wanted to do it for ourselves so we went out to the seas and spent a lot of time out there and <laughs> saw seals and dolphins and everything we got some really good footage and we hope to have products that were in development for the 1924 shop to be sent to Tasmania so we could photograph them on board this um, sailboat but they didn't come in time sadly so it was kind of just a fun day out and we got to get to know the crew who were all volunteers on the ship on the sailboat I keep saying ship I don't even I don't know if it's a ship or not if that's the correct term but and I basically just wanted to say that we had the best time ever and I know a lot of you guys watching this probably aren't even Australian or um, won't be coming to Australia anytime soon. I'm gonna link all the accommodation places we stayed below anyway so you can check them out or even just to get interior inspiration because they all were stunning and this trip wasn't sponsored or anything. It was just for the love of it and some of the places were happy to have us in exchange for photos and we were like honored to be able to do that but all of the places we carefully looked at and selected and were just blown away by like the hospitality level there was insane so if anyone's thinking of going there i would highly recommend it as a tourist destination um, and just coming home was, I didn't think I would be so excited because I was loving it so much and I was kind of a bit scared to be honest to come home again and face reality of being bigger in pregnancy and not being so stimulated by all the travel. But I'm really, really at peace being home. Um, today, well, I'm about to actually go to the shop and go pick up Christian and we're gonna go to our second midwife appointment which is really exciting and i also have we've got a ton of stuff happening right now we're opening our shop again so christian's just 
branding and figuring out all this restyling of the shop. We've got a, a ton of new product coming as well, which we have to inventory all, all of that stuff. And then we've only just got on top of our taxes, which has taken us years. This is real, real talk. So we're just like trying to inventory every antique we have and photograph it all. And yeah, so there's a lot happening. And then I also got a really, oh, I want to share it so badly, but I have to sign a contract. So I'm going to wait, but I'll be making more video stuff, I guess, in relation to this job, which is kind of an ongoing job. And I'm really excited to share that with you guys because it's actually allowing me to have the time um, to do this kind of stuff. These are the new lamps we got too. They're actually so good. I might link them as well because they're ahead. They were so affordable. Okay, it's quite dark in this bathroom. Maybe it's better without the light on even. Mm, maybe not. But you can see. <laughs> now it's like, it's official. You guys, I am actually really pregnant and there is no denying it. This is the these leggings, by the way, are so comfortable. They're um, from Uniqlo, and I've just been wearing them every single day. My older sister just had a little girl, and she basically said to me, you'll live in these, and she was right. They're just so comfortable. But yeah, that's basically side angle now. I know you're really excited. <laughs> Good to see you too. He's in such a playful mood. It's so playful. Hey, you're so playful. Love you, Picky. He's fully moving around all the time. Like I can feel him squirming every day. It's so fun. It's so fun carrying a baby. It's so amazing that women can do this. Like. I could never picture it growing up. Like I always wanted kids, but I was always thinking like, there's no way like I'll be able to do that. And you know, times have changed. I can do it. This is our shop. It's a, f and then Christian and Max are in there styling. I'll take you guys in. Something with Max. This is how I feel more powerful than Max. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, I think that's what, let's do that, and then just maybe, yeah, take, after you do that, take, take off early. Yeah. And then, um, just make sure to mark your hours, and then come Monday. I put some of your, like, little, um, antique goodies there. Oh, I as like well as it. The pennies, just in case I want to make this out. into a necklace. Yeah. It's so pretty. And then I just doubled up on some of the exposure for, like, the adopt uh, kits and the hot sauce and beanies and things. Yeah. Oh, look, we got belts in. This is all Filson. This is Filson. Aren't they beautiful? They're so nice. Gorgeous. Is, it, is that a darker leather than the? Well, they're all like a darker, like a uh, chestnut. And then um, we got the Filson gloves and suspenders. Yeah, the suspenders too. That's a big one. Oh, I like it. The couch looks good too. Yeah, so I completely restyled all of the Filson bags and vintage ones and all of the uh, duffel bags too. And then we changed the sun. Oh. So instead of being like a pie man. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we put the coyote down here because we thought it was cool. And then I put one of the Navajo blankets there and then the bear rug. <laughs> and then some paintings as well. Oh, I like the paintings. And then just a little luggage piece. Nice. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this little clip. I will see you soon and blessings.